Hey guys, welcome to Matt's Profit Pursuit. I'm a part-time reseller. Today we got a cool episode. I'm actually going to be on Trash to Cash. Check out this highlight. Matt's Profit Pursuit. So go ahead. Yeah, awesome. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Um, sorry if I'm a little late. Um, it took me a minute to get um, set up and make sure I was on the, the right link and everything. You've come to the right place at the right time, and it's the right moment, okay? I appreciate that. Um, I really like you guys' show. I've binge-watched all of them. And I really like the... Do you know, your you're capable of absolutely anything. Um, thanks. I was trying to finish my thought there. But anyways, let's jump right into it. Uh, for Kevin, I got a question. How do you find a price to... A reasonable price for an item? Well, and by reasonable, just low. Super low. Thanks. Again, Carrie. Um, but for Kevin... Sorry, Carrie, Dave. Love you guys. Uh, love the show. But for Kevin, I know you're the kind of the newest one to whatnot, the last one to really get on board. What about whatnot? Well, put it on one dollar, starts on whatnot, lose some money. Thanks again, Carrie. I uh, appreciate your feedback. But uh, how will you succeed if you're doing one dollar starts and losing money? Look, here's the here's how I've succeeded in life. Mm -hmm. I have it. But that doesn't make any sense. That's the brilliance. So you can, you okay, can, you. you fake it until you fake it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're never gonna make it. None of us do. Oh come on. To be fair, there's lots of full-time resellers who are doing well for themselves. Look at Kevin. Kevin, he's living a lie. All right, I get it. I'm messing with the new guy. There's egg on my face, you little rascal. Um, I'm just waiting for the poop jokes to come out. But let's. Um, I don't want to waste your time. I know I have limited time here, so it's. Get back on track there, Carrie. Um, so let's say, I guess, for Dave, what is, if you had to give somebody one tip for reselling, what would that be? One simple tip. Go out and pick stuff that's worth money, pay less than it's worth, put it on eBay, make a few dollars, whatever you choose. Um, thanks again, Carrie. You're awfully talkative in this one. Um, but for Kevin, do you have any updates on the whole bubble wrap controversy? Well, we're going to get you 5% off, so that's going to get you up to 35% off, okay? So, so since it's 40% short, I get 5% off, so then it's only like 35% short. That adds up. Um, just a few more questions, guys. Again, thanks for having me on. Uh, Kevin, how do you get around so many yard sales in one day? Thank you for I the 33 <laughs> Oh, wow, you get piggyback rides. That's super interesting. Um, I guess, do you guys have anything for me? Matt's profit. Hey, guys, go follow him on YouTube, eBay, buy something from him. Thanks for that. Um, so I'm trying to stay consistent this year and doing my what sold videos on YouTube. Do you have any advice for that? You're capable of absolutely anything as long as you set your standards low enough. Okay? <laughs> anything in this world as long as it's reasonable thanks carrie you're really motivating me right now it's almost like i pay you to do that but anyways when it comes to sourcing i'm trying to do my best to get the best items possible and increase my roi and my um average sale price. i don't get any of that um yeah i can explain the average sale price is the average price you sell something for and roi is return on investment you feeling all right, Carrie? Hey, hey, buddy. Nice. But Matt, really, Matt, let me be serious. Oh, where am I at? I think it's Kevin gets it all. Um, okay. This was interesting and informative and definitely worth my time. So thanks. Um, Dave, do you have any last words? Buy a bubble wrap from Supply Hut. <laughs> This video was not sponsored by Supply Hut, but I'm willing.